today, I will introduce one of my research titled Phenotyping Modulation of Primary Vascular Smooth Muscle Cells by Short-Term Culture of Microparent Substrate, published in PLOS1 at February 2014. Blood vessels arise from the mesenchyme, and mesenchymal cells gradually develop into vascular smooth muscle cells called as VSMCs. VSMCs in native blood vessels was help in, help on elongated morphology and are aligned in the circumferential direction with a well-organized structure. The primary role of VSMCs is to maintain the tone of blood vessels and to control the blood flow through contraction of resistance arterials. In various vascular pathologies, such as atherosclerosis, VSMCs undergo a rapid and reversible change from a quiescent contractile phenotype to a proliferative and secretory phenotype characterized by increased proliferation. Thus, excessive proliferation of VSMCs has been a therapeutic target for prevention of atherosclerosis and post-angioplastic restenosis. Along with in vitro cultures, primary VSMCs gradually assume features of less differentiated cells with characteristics found in vascular lesions. VSMCs grown in vitro exhibit a less elongated morphology and spread randomly on cultured surfaces without an organized structure. Despite widespread appreciation of the concept of VSMC phenotype alteration toward less differentiated cells, there remains no cell culture system for the differentiation of SMCs. The absence of such a culture system has made it difficult to dissect the molecular mechanisms that underlie the attainment and or loss of contraction function of VSMCs. We postulated that cell morphology and organization may regulate differentiation of VSMCs and subsequent function. Then we introduced microparenting to introduce differentiated VSMC phenotype. Micropatterning techniques have been used as a powerful tool to control cell spreading morphology and function by creating well-defined topographical and chemical cues for cell patterning. Topography can also influence cellular responses from initial attachment and migration to differentiation. So, in this research, we introduced a microparent group substrate as a structure and mechanical stimulations for modulation of the morphology and function of VSMCs to induce and maintain the differentiated VSMC phenotype in vitro. First, we observed the spontaneous de-differentiation in primary VSMC cultures in the conventional culture system. VSMCs, as at later passages, lost parallel organization of actin filament bundles to become less elongated with a randomized actin filament distribution. And the size of cells dramatically decreased during sequential culture passages, although the shape of cells was similar. We also observed that expression of the smooth muscle specific proteins such as myosin heavy chain, myocardin, transgelin, alpha-smooth muscle actin, and n cadrelin in primary cultured VSMCs declined in a passage-dependent manner. In contrast, epithelial marker proteins such as e cadrelin PDGF receptor beta, and PCNA were regulated in later passage cultures. I will mark the mesenchymal and SMC-specific markers with blue box and the epithelial markers with red box here and after. To determine whether this alteration in cell size, actin rearrangement, and protein expression lead to functional changes, we determine the migration capability of VSMCs at passage 4 and 10 
BSMCs at passage 4 show the better migration capability than those at the later passage. These results indicate that primary culture of BSMCs undergo spontaneous de-differentiation in a passage-dependent manner, and that this phenotypic transition results in functional alteration such as as enhanced migratory activity. To induce an in vivo-like elongated morphology in the differentiated state, we created a PDMS substrate with parallel microgrooves that mimic the cellular microenvironment. Micro VSMC is cultured on the microgrooved surface, acquired an elongated morphology, and were mostly parallel to one another. In contrast, VSMCs cultured on non-parent flat sub surfaces showed neither elongation nor parallel orientation, orientation. Staining of affectin showed stretched stress fiber bundles along the long axis of cells cultured on the microparent substrate. For more detailed characterization of cell morphology, axis length and orientation angle were measured and quantified with various parameters like elongation factor and cell shape index. These results collectively indicated that uh, micropatterning can induce primary VSMCs to spread in the group direction and can restrict cell spreading in the perpendicular direction with promotes the elongated morphology. Having observed that culture on microgrouped patterns can induce mesenchyme-like morphological changes, we next tested the possibility that plating cells on the microgrouped surface lead to a shift towards a mesenchymal phenotype. To investigate alterations in the expression of a wide spectrum of phenotyping markers, we profiled the gene expression of VSMCs on microgrouped and flat substrates using cDNA microarrays and assessed the, the expression levels of various epithelial and mesenchyme related genes. Expression of markers related to the mesenchymal phenotype, such as markers of cell migration and smooth muscle cell differentiation, was higher in the cells on the microgroup substrate. And conversely, expression of most epithelial markers and proliferation marker genes was higher in the cells on the flat substrate. We also examined another well-known smooth muscle phenotype marker, microRNA-145. The level of microRNA-145 was decreased in VSMCs at passage 9 cultured on the flat substrate, compared to dead in VSMCs at passage 3 cultured on the flat substrate. And the expression level was recovered when VSMCs were cultured on the microgrouped substrate. The protein expression of epithelial markers decreased dramatically during short-term culture. On the other hand, expression of mesenchymal marker proteins increased in response to the same mechanical cues. Secretion of osteopontin was significantly increased in VSMCs at passage 9 cultured on flat substrate as same as in synthetic VSMCs and restoration by the microgroup was coincided with the result above. Taken together, these data demonstrate that micropatterning of VSMCs using the microgrouped substrate promotes redifferentiation accompanied by the expression of contractile proteins and mesenchymal markers, whereas conventional culture on a flat substrate induces an epithelial-like synthetic phenotype. Since culture on the micropattern substrate caused VSMCs to retain a mesenchymal morphology, we next tested whether the cultural conditions can induce the differentiation of proliferative VSMCs into contractile VSMCs. 
Cells grown on the flat substrate showed a considerable proliferation response to serum treatment, while BSMCs on the microgrouped substrate exhibited significantly lower proliferation rates. Culture on the microgrouped pattern activated proliferation signals including phosphorylation of AKT and ERK by lysophosphatidic acid. In contrast, Migration of VSMCs on the microgrouped substrate was markedly enhanced compared to that on the flat substrate. In VSMCs cultured on the microgrouped substrate, basal level of phosphorylation FAK was elevated even without PDGF stimulation, which is consistent with induced migration of VSMCs on the microgroup. This result indicates that Strong migration activity along the creating axis on the groove might result from activation of FAK in response to surface topography, which acts as a mechanical cue, although activation of both ERK and FAK are involved in the migration of VSMCs. To sum up, in the current study, we first identified the spontaneous phenotypic transition of VSMCs in the conventional in vitro culture system. As the passage passed, VSMCs showed a spread shape unlike VSMCs in vivo, which have an elongated morphology and aligned in the circumferential direction. To establish in vivo culture model of VSMCs, we developed the study with the hypothesis that a microparent group substrate might modulate the morphology and function of SMCs toward the differentiation phenotype. A potential application of SMC microparenting is the control of SMC morphology, orientation, and proliferation. Culture on the microgroup substrate induced changes in morphology and gene expression levels. The cells on the micropattern surface showed a well-differentiated state with migratory properties. In this system, we elucidate that migratory function facilitated by the microgroup was medi mediated by FAK activation and reduced proliferation was associated with decreased activation of AKT and ERK. This phenotypic restoration with cells becoming similar to VSMCs in vivo after culture on the micropattern substrate suggests that the microgrooved substrate, which mimics the cellular microenvironment for maintaining differentiated phenotype, is useful to in vivo cardiovascular research. Thank you for listening.